this uh, brick school that's sitting on the corner replaced the meeting house where Sidney Rigdon had a Campbellite congregation in November of 1830. Parley Pratt, along with the Lamanite missionaries, came and preached in, in this church. It was a brick church, according to one account, and converted Sidney Rigdon and some of his congregation here. Parley returned to this schoolhouse in uh, May of 1835, when the Twelve were getting ready to go on their mission. Parley had just made a sacrifice of his home, seeing it burned down, re, uh, getting money, a debt forgiven, his house, uh, getting a coat so he could go on the mission. When he got here to Kirtland, he found that the others weren't ready to go. And as a, a window into Parley's soul, he didn't sit down and wait for those other missionaries to be ready. He went out and decided to preach. He came to this site where this brick uh, meeting house was, of the Campbellites. He called a meeting and many people came uh, to hear him, but the Campbellites wouldn't let them inside the house. And so Parley said, that's all right, I'll preach from the steps of the church. And so as he began to preach, the Campbellites who had refused the building decided that they would deter him from preaching. They went to a local uh, grocery store of that day and bought 60 eggs. And they came back, they got a fife and they got a drum. And they started to beat the drum and blow the fife and march around to drown Parley out while he was talking. Parley just paused when they passed in front of him and finally they were exasperated and they decided that the eggs needed to be put into action. And so they, at the signal that was given, they all threw 60, those 60 eggs at Parley. They had every part of his body. I can just see it right now. The eggs were dripping. Parley, who had not been deterred by the drum and fife, was discouraged at this point. And he said he left them and he walked toward Kirtland. He was dejected. He said that he was all besmeared with the eggs. Uh, his ego had been hurt as well as all his clothes would have been soaked with the eggs. And then he said they arrived here in Kirtland and he said his friends then spent the day uh, cleaning him and his clothes from that act of Christian benevolence that was administered to him by the Campbellites.